Next we got Filthy Frank's favorite drink. Actually, I heard this is a favorite, very highly recommended thing to drink among Trump supporters. If I have any Donald Trump supporter watching this video, please, I highly recommend you get a bottle of this shit and you just chug it down really fast. I mean, oh God, the flavor of it. It's just so good. I mean, I haven't done it myself because, well, I, I don't want to taste it. It's, it's, it sounds terrible, but I hear this is such, such a great drink. Yeah, I just subtly told every Trump supporter to kill themselves. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Or I kind of am. Okay, don't kill yourself. Suicide bad. Sorry. Kind of. Jesus Christ, this is a big-ass box set. I'm not a weeb. I'm not a weeb. Kind of. I don't have a body pill, so I'm not a weeb. Though I am thinking about getting a body pill and Scarlett Johansson. Oh, God, why did I admit that? They know. Sam Hatch, do the voices in your head bother you, too? The voices in my head bother me. Oh, yeah, sorry about this, but the close-up being stupid. Okay. Autofocus work now. It's really nice. Oh, oh God, the box set. Why are you so beautiful? Why are you so sexy? So sexy. And this was a used set, so uh, whatever. Oh, 2000. Damn. Got a lot of um, good archival shit in here. This nice little uh, episode guide. It's like. Poster, and join you done fucked it up. You done fucked it up. Wait, is this just a poster? Yeah, it's just a poster, but I'm, I'm not hanging it up. Fuck you. Okay, so we got the DVDs here. Just one. Love the um, outside thing going on there. Disc two, and it's got some interesting stuff going on, like air quotes and shit, which are pretty cool. Another cool thing going on. I can't wait to edit this later today. Ah, shit, yeah. I think the glue is wearing off on this set, so whatever. Got it for a really good deal at Comic-Con. $25 when this set is out of print well this wasn't a comic-con deal this was my uh local areas convention really like it and uh the guy running it his name will be in the description below so if you have any questions for him about how the con is running stuff i will happily send you his youtube channel Brr. fuck okay there that's how it looks like and uh Here's a disc, same as everything else. I change my mind, you will witness me doing the stupid, pointless shit that probably isn't worth having on film, but one day you will all die and the aliens will come. Holy shit, look at that. Damn you, camera. Cool shit. Derp. This is my most derpy video ever. Why? Because Bernie lost, and I'm not 21 yet, so uh, I will wait for the alcohol pain to come into play later. I'm kidding about that, too. God damn, I'm being a dickhead in this video. And it will be forever recorded. I'm a dickhead. Star Wars droids, Comic-Con bootleg, didn't come in this nice case, had it on standby, tried to look for a higher resolution case, it didn't exist, why well, just fucking Photoshop? This shit here doesn't even match. Why? What is the, the fuck? Bootleg disc. Dickhead. 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 This is supposed to go here. I'm tempted to DVD rip that just so I can burn it properly. Fuck you. And yeah, I'm fucking stupid. Oh my god, the Ewoks look horrifying in this. 
this is the smarter dealer at Comic Con. Even though this is a, even though this dickhead didn't offer returns, fucking dickhead. Yeah, uh, the guy that sold this to me is a fucking asshole. Whatever. What I do find cool is that it does have the exact same menus as the official DVD release. So, yeah, I am paying no eBay price for that shit. Fuck you too. I can have the shit trilogy of the Star Wars Holiday Special and the two Ewok movies. And when I'm 21, I will do that. Because that will require booze. <laughs> what the fuck? Dun, dun, dun. After fucking decades, they release this cartoon series. He's back to the future. The complete animated series. After all these fucking years, it's been released on a DVD. And I am going to binge watch this in a few days. I don't know when I'll have the time to rewatch it. And you don't come here for my singing. You're like Darth, please shut the fuck up. You sound like a cat got fucked in a garbage compactor who's screaming in agony. And I know... Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up before you shut off the video. Why? I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I... Die! Love this, love how this looks. Really nice. This does take place after Back to the Future 3. So it's just kinda like a fourth movie, but kinda not. Um, inside stuff looks pretty cool overall. Looking forward to popping this in, and funny enough, with my TV specials and stuff, or a random TV section, and I know what you're gonna say. Darth, your collection is beyond disorganized. No, it's not. My collection is cryptic. That way, no one knows where anything is except me. I'm fucking insane. Fuck you. That was mean. I'm sorry. Please don't unsubscribe. I need subscriptions. I need my subscribers to keep me alive. Seriously, without subscribers, I die. So, I would like a million subs, please, so I can become an immortal god and absorb Donald Trump. Oh wait, that's a dumb idea. I don't want to absorb Donald Trump. Then I'll become stupid. Fuck that noise. Next we got Ant Bully. It's not a bootleg. The official release. Got this for 50 cents. Had to print out this DVD cover. What the fuck was that? That was my computer. I'm gonna see what the hell it did. Did you delete System 32? Shit. I have to check my computer now. Seriously, don't delete System 32. If you do, you're fucking stupid. And this will not play in any player I own. Didn't play in the PS3, the HD DVD player, and I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck, yeah. This is going to the game store. They have a resurfacer. This will get fixed. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Bullshit. Fuck you. I kid. You're probably thinking, Darth, why are you such a dickhead to your audience? Cause fuck you. Love how this looks. Uh, you may be asking, why didn't you get the Blu-ray set? It was expensive and it didn't have the convenient uh, put on the shelf version. Or one that looked would look nice on the shelf. So I'm like, fine, I'll get the DVD with the legend special features and fuck you. I already had this, but I traded it in, so whatever. So, once I get the director's cut on Blu-ray, I will have a complete Watchmen collection. And Jesus Christ, this video is going to be fucking long. And it's going to be hell to edit. Me and editing station. Do not cut out the parts where I'm a fucking dick. That's dumb. 
It's called comedy. People can't live with comedy? Then fuck them. Don't be a pussy. Like Donald Trump said, if you're a decent human being, you should be shot on sight. That's a real quote. Look it up. Or maybe I dreamt that. Probably dreamt it. So yeah, I'm trying to watch this. Look, I'm going to say this. I like Zack Snyder. This movie's fucking awesome. I love this movie to death. This was my first R-rated movie. Your boss, fuck you. And Zack Snyder did a masterful job of making this fucking movie. This is best movie. I love it. I just hope the director's cut of the ultimate edition of Batman vs. Superman is as good as this ultimate cut of Watchmen. Oh, I love the theatrical cut of Watchmen. I think the last time I saw, um... Uh, not Watchmen. It wasn't Watchmen. Oh, yeah, uh, V for Vendetta and Watchmen. Do a double feature of those two movies. Man, that's some intense shit, I'll tell you what. Okay. Next, we got this DVD here. Nice overall. Really nice. Uh, that is how it's supposed to look. I love how they do this, by the way. It's like they got all the characters there, but they each have, but some of them are on the outside of the box and some of them are on the disc. Oh my god, that's brilliant! That is so eerily brilliant how they did this. Oh my god, yo! Yo! It's like they applied this to, like, each character and how they're different. Like, look, you got Osmosis over Watchmen. Then you got, wait, unless it's supposed to be, like, nope, nope, that makes sense. Okay, then you got the Comedian over Dr. Manhattan. Then you got um, Night Owl over Silk Spectre 2. Silk Spectre is my waifu, my, my 80s waifu. Uh, don't question me. Um, now, I showed this in a DVD update from 2011. It's way old. Jesus Christ, we're doing it all right there. Yeah, I got this paranoia of my hamster. Uh, three years ago, my other hamster, Johnny, one night I fell asleep when he was sleeping on the GameCube controller. And he got bored, and he jumped off. And they got lost for like a few hours, but we found him. He was sleeping in the in the closet and he was like human what's up and I'm like Jesus Christ Johnny okay don't know why you started talking about my hamster when doing an update but don't question me don't question my sanity he doesn't like you my sanity is fine but yeah as you can see debate over I'm showing you this uh oh no a useless digital copy code saying so wait I think this is for the theatrical cut of the movie which I own, so I'm happy I kept the theatrical cut. I could probably just replace the digital copy disc with a theatrical cut, but I'm not going to do that. Because the digital copy disc is nice, despite being useless. I'm just hoping I find the director's cut of that on the cheap. I see, I think Best Buy still has a steelbook in that, so yeah. So yeah, that's the image I'm going to end it with. You just witnessed how Darth Bry Boy does the thumbnail. That's how that's how I set it up. Yeah. Yeah, behind the scenes and shit. Okay, bye now, the long and prospering shit.